new, 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 new. <laughs> okay, um, before we dive into the new products, don't forget, we have a new newsletter called New New News for Main Street. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a weekly newsletter, and uh, we were asked for this. Uh, folks wanted to know when new products dropped, so uh, we do this every week now. And it's very difficult to sign up for because we don't spam anyone. Yeah. So you have to log into your account. You have to do a bunch you of stuff. You have to do work to log, sign yeah. up. But that way you know you signed up. Yeah. And you will not get automatically signed up at all. We don't do that. And no. We, and we don't put a big thing on the site that no. says, like, buy something. Actually, you know what my least favorite thing in the universe is? What? It's not just that. It's when you go to a site and then, like, 10 seconds later, they pop up. So you're, like, clicking on something to scroll and it, like. Yeah. And then the X box is, like, the smallest yeah. possible particle known to man. Yeah. So we use our site a lot, and uh, I don't want that. we like each other here, and we like all of you, so we won't do that. Just pick up some kits once in a while. Okay, Lydia, let's do this. Let's do this thing. First product. First product is a micro bit. We've already stocked the micro bit, so you're probably <clears> wondering, <throat> wait, I have seen this before, but uh, you're not being fooled. There are two micro bits. This micro bit is just the individual. It does not come with any batteries. It doesn't come with a battery case. It doesn't come with a USB cable. It's just the micro bit. But it's a little less money. So if you're like, hey, I really just want the minimum because I want to get a lot of them, or maybe you already have battery packs and USB cables, this is just the individual micro bit. Yeah. It comes in a cute little bag, and it comes in a box. It's got the instructions. <laughs> you provide your own USB cable. Hey, chances are you've already got one kicking around. Yeah. And uh, micro bit, for those who aren't familiar, it's, a, it's a, the BBC micro bit designed in England. Uh, for teaching electronics. It's got a Bluetooth radio. It's got 25 LEDs and two buttons and alligator clips. It's basically a way to learn how to program. Under 20 bucks. For under under $15 for this. Yeah. Um, it's got everything you could possibly want to build a lot of really cool projects. Check out microbit.org, I think, is the mm -hmm. URL. Has a lot of projects. You can use MakeCode. You can use MicroPython. You can use yeah. Embed. It's uh, quite powerful. Don't need to download any software. No. Nope. Use a browser. It's pretty so, sweet. Yeah. So uh, I think it is a perfect companion to Circuit Playground Express. I think a lot of teachers People and have a lot of choices parents now. can start with this yeah. and then upgrade. Microbit, Circuit Playground, Metros, Feathers, mm -hmm. Raspberry Pi. It's an excellent time to be a maker. That's right. Okay. There's never been a better time. Right. So that's the uh, individual microbit. Okay. Next up. Um, for the folks who missed out on Adabox, you can get one. We have these in the store. Adabox 003. Yeah, the standalone Adabox. Brought to you uh, in partnership with DigiKey. Mm -hmm. DigiKey helped out with this one. Um, for example, they provided that really cool ruler. And uh, they also helped us make some videos. So this is the Internet of Things Adabox. Uh, you get an ESP8266 feather um, and with stacking headers, an OLED display feather ring, already assembled buttons, LEDs, sensors, servo, PIR, Humidity and temperature sensor, breadboard, wires, yeah. um, door sensor, piezo, light sensor, switch. So you get like a huge arrangement yeah. of parts. Um, we have dozens of IoT projects. You can you can build just about any IoT project you'd want from detecting a person, um, moving a motor when remotely from you when you want, control yeah. over the internet. Check out the video the that we have with our internet, mm -hmm. internet IoT desk. And um, Tatrice wrote a bunch of beginner tutorials for people yeah. uh, that, that goes along with this box and very easy to get going. So you get a Wi-Fi microcontroller and everything. Uh, it doesn't come with the LiPo battery and it doesn't come with the collectible pin yeah. and a couple other things. So this is not all that you get with Adabox. If you had signed up for Adabox, you would have gotten this plus some even more stuff plus free shipping. Yeah. It would have been a really great deal. Uh, I would suggest signing up for Adabox because yeah. I think the next few are going to be even better. They're always going to get better. They're always going to get better. Better and more. And more. Okay. Um, but you can always pick up one of these if you missed it. Okay. Next up. Woo! Maghand. <laughs> Maghand. 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 Okay, what's uh, going on here? So this is a magnetic hand. Um, I'll show this on the overhead because there's like actually kind of a lot going on here. This is a magnetic base. And it's got these two cooling tube um, alligator clips on it. And so it's basically when you want a helping hand. And we have ones that have like a base, but what's really cool about this is um, this is machined so that there's like a magnet in the base here. And so this is like 
I don't even know if I have anything that would stick to it because I try not to. Oh, this pen does have some metal in it. So it's very magnetic. It's a really big magnet. So if you have like a metal table or a metal bar, like yeah. I have a metal bar on my table. It's super helpful. This, it's a little heavy, but if it has a magnet, something to stick to, it'll like clunk and it will sit very solidly um, with this hex nut. And then you get these two adjustable posable arms. Uh, so you can hold circuit boards or wires and this cooling tubing is like it you know you can move it but it'll stay once you you've adjusted it so it's really fun um and they make a whole selection of different products this one is like the first magnetic base one but all of the you know if you don't have a magnetic table for some reason like this table isn't magnetic um you can uh, or a ferris you can check out they have ones with like heavy bases yeah. and, and ones with like suction cups. Get a chunk of metal and just yeah, but a lot of people have metal. You know, their desk often has a metal bar um, or yeah. it has a metal plate somewhere, so you would be able to stick it onto that or stick it to your fridge. This is like the best photo holder for your fridge yeah. ever. All right. Mag hand. Next up. Hobby Creek. This is a piece of plastic. It's a piece of round well, plastic. Yep. This is the uh, a Raspberry Pi camera focus adapter. And... Um, Sometimes the Pi cameras come with these, but a lot of them don't. I'm still trying to figure out exactly who or why. Um, but if you get a Raspberry Pi camera or you have one and you want to adjust the focus and you want to do so without like possibly marring it with your pliers, um, this little plastic tool is a low no. cost and easy way to do so. Bing, bing, so I'll show bing, this off. Bing, 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 bing. Very easy. Yeah, can I just show it on the mm -hmm. overhead? So you've got your Pi camera. Just a 3D print one, but if you don't have a 3D like, printer, you can do this. You know, I, look, if you have a lot of these and you're doing a lot of it, so this tool has like a precise cutout here. So this is the lens, and so you would, you would, um, you know, you could grab it with pliers or tweezers, but it's kind of tough. Um, this, it, it like sits, sits perfectly, and you can really get a good grip to adjust it. Yeah. And you don't have to worry about damaging it or anything. Set it and forget it. Set it and forget it. You've got these little nubs and the, or notches and nubs, and this has the matching you can't can't really tell, but just trust me. Like once once it clips on, you're like, oh yeah, that's clipped in. So you can see like, it, it snaps in perfectly yeah. for adjusting. So a very handy little uh, adjustment tool. Okay. The people were like, this is an awesome thing, and I'm like, yeah, it's pretty awesome. So Pimeroni was on our show just a couple weeks ago, and uh, the pirate hall. Yes, they had in. they had just sent us these kits, and I was like, I didn't get to it. And then last week I was also a little didn't get to it, but this week. We totally got to these. We wanted to take lovely photos and have demos. Pirate radio. So there's four packs that we put in. So the first one is this pirate radio pack, which is so beautiful. It's got this lovely uh, aquatic blue shape. Yeah. And what's interesting with these kits is they come with a Raspberry Pi um, Zero W. So you get a Raspberry Pi Zero W and you get all these plastic pieces and a speaker. You have to do a little bit of soldering to put the headers onto the Raspberry Pi, but there isn't a lot. And once you put it together, you add an SD card and um, you, you basically run the software tutorial. They have a really detailed tutorial. And you basically have a little pirate radio. It can uh, connect to web radio or you can have yeah. it play Spotify or AirPlay. Um, so it's a, a, it can be a web radio or it can be um, you know, a general, just like a speaker for an internet speaker. Okay. Uh, comes with their um, uh, speaker fat with a VU meter and everything. So this is a, a super fun project. Okay, next up. Next up, we have a, um, this is the mood, mood light. So I actually have one of these. I can plug this in. Um, so this is a, uh, likewise, it's a Pi Zero W kit, and it can, uh, you can control it, I think, over Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. And uh, it can um, display, you know, like if you want to display the weather, like, okay, you know, like the project we sh talked about in the show and tell, it can, you know, display red when, um, it's uh, hot out and blue when it's cold out, or you can have it just have these really cool effects. Um, can you go to the overhead and I'll, I'll show what it comes with? Because it's, you can see it put together. So you get a Pi Zero W, um, and then you've got this a unicorn uh, fat, so it's a 32 pixel fat, and then you've got this really cool diffuser. Let me uh, zoom up here so you can that's cool. See it. So it's got this really cool diffuser. So it looks really blurry because it's diffused, but that's actually, it, it, it has this really nice glowing effect. 
Um, it glows from the back and it's all plastic, you put it together. And um, likewise, you can use hammer headers or you can solder the headers on, uh, whichever one you like. And then um, you get this really cool mood light that you can program and customize however you like. So it's a yeah. lovely little plastic kit. I like this project because it's something that you can put where people are yeah. and they'll be like, oh, like, where did you buy that? Like, no, I, mm -hmm. I made it. But it's got this nice frosted yeah. plastic. So that's okay. the second kit. Okay, there's more. No, we're not done. Bah. So the next, next up we have the little robot face so this is a project that also comes with a pi zero w and it comes also with a um a scroll uh fat so it has a uh, multiple leds and it can i think it's like um scroll bot. seven but yes it's seven by 16 or something leds um, and there's an orange diffuser but you can change the diffuser i think they just went with orange because orange is kind of cool and it can scroll text or it can just have like cool effects it's a little robot friend I think they have like a, a project that um, like scrolls tweets or something on the face, or it can display like a stock news or weather, whatever you'd okay. like. Um, so yeah, let's show the on the overhead what you get here. Uh, so same thing, it's a plastic piece. You've got the Raspberry Pi uh, Zero W, and then you can see the LEDs are blue, but then they go through this diffuser, so they have like a kind of cool diffuse look, and it's like a robot. Face. Yeah, and as someone pointed out, like not everyone has 3D printers yet, um, or access to them. So this is one that you can build. Yep. And it comes with the laser cut pieces. It comes with all the laser cut pieces. Yeah. So you you put it together. You just have to do a little bit of soldering, or you can use a hammer headers with um, yeah. the two pieces. And then you've got a little robot friend. Kind of looks a little um, shocked. The robot, like a very intense. I think robots are shocked because they're like, okay, those Terminator movies. Like what? What? Okay, you've, yeah. been, you've been warned. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so this is, yeah, this is, I think, the one with the diffuse, diffusible pixels. I think they showed this, this um, demo last week. So, yeah. yeah, it's got, it can scroll text and stuff right now. It's just doing a cool graphics okay. display. Next up. Okay, so we'll unplug this. There's more. There's more. Um, there's also the Pimeroni starter kit for the Raspberry Pi Zero. So this uh, kit comes with the Raspberry Pi Zero W, as the others do, with a case, um, power supply, yeah, it comes it? with a bunch of stuff. It comes with, let's see. Cable. It comes with a blink. It's that little um, eight LED board, uh, Raspberry Pi Zero, the case, um, adapter for HDMI, an adapter for USB, a USB cable, a GPIO header, and stickers. And so um, they do have some projects that go with the um, blink. So it looks like there's a you know, rainbow demo. But there's probably other demos as yep. well. And um, But it's a good little starter pack that just, you know, you want the Pi Zero and everything you need. You just need to include... You just need to get a um, micro SD card, which we stock, or you probably have an SD card, and then uh, power supply and uh, keyboard and mouse if you yeah. want to set up that way. Okay. So that's, next that's up. that. Okay, next up, more Blinky. These are very, very small LEDs. These are nano NeoPixels. These are the smallest NeoPixels uh, known. These are smaller than the X on those um, pop-ups that ask you to sign up for a newsletter. <laughs> They're so small. They're so small that they couldn't be used for that. They're so small. So I, I do have them here because I want to show how small they are. They are 2.4 by 2.7 millimeters, which means they are half the size of the mini NeoPixels that we previously had thought were the smallest. And they are a quarter of the size of the 5 millimeter NeoPixels that we had um, yeah. See, it's actually, let me show you how big. So, for example, These this. giant new pickle. This is like a, okay, this is a, you know, AP 102, but it's basically the same size. So, this is a, you know, quote unquote standard size NeoPixel size. It's five millimeters by five millimeters. And this is how big the, these little mini NeoPixels are. Um, they are, whoa, sorry, I'm breaking everything. Um, they are 2.5 by, about 2.5 by 2.5. So, even though they're very bright, let me yeah, I mean, uh, that, turn, let that's me turn off the power so you can see how small they are. Yeah, they're so, super teeny. So this is how small it is. It is just incredibly small. We should look at this under the microscope. Okay. So very, very, very small. So this is like now, it's like this is now the, the smallest you can get. Um, but they are NeoPixel compatible. So you can use them with any uh, NeoPixel library that you know, you know and love. Um, and you're familiar with, um, they can connect to, you know, other NeoPixels. So if you have ones that are 
Um, Good for wearables, all sorts of things. I mean, we can do a lot with this. Yeah, basically, it's like everything you could ever want, but they're extremely small. Um, for this one, we just soldered them on with little wires by hand, um, but that's not how we suggest you use them. We suggest you solder them onto um, a breadboard. Um, the only question is, of course, uh, or a breakup board, you, you'll need to use like Eagle CAD or, or KiCad or something to design the circuit board. And then hot air or very careful soldering just because they're so teeny that um, they're easy to melt. Yeah. So anyways, very small. Okay. But we do have them. All right. And tonight, the star of the show, besides you, Lady Ada, and uh, community watching, is this. Pi OLED. Pi OLED. Yeah, it's, it's, pi, it's pi Day. Um, so this is a little OLED display. People have really liked our OLEDs, and you know we have the OLED Feather Wing, and so I thought, oh, you know, I should just make a little plug-in version for the Raspberry Pi. That could be handy. And then uh, I think I asked you, and you said, yeah, that'd be handy. So this is it. Um, handy. It works with any Raspberry Pi. I show it with a Pi Zero because people love the Pi Zero. Yeah. Um, and just to show how small it is, but it it's is a tiny computer. Uh, it is for use with any Raspberry Pi computer. And, um, you know, I have this very basic demo. Everything's that it, blinky and miniature tonight. I know. It's like small is in. Um, so it uses an OLED display. And OLED displays are nice because they're thin and they have no backlight. So they actually don't use that much power. This is maybe 20 milliamps total. Yeah. And they're very crisp. So you can see them indoors very easily. And they can also be readable outdoors, except in... If it's really bright, maybe not, but they're, they're very readable um, in almost every situation and very crisp. They have 128 pixels down uh, across and 32 pixels down. Um, we already have a library for it, so that's great. We have a guide that shows you how to plug this in. Um, what's neat is this comes fully assembled, so you don't have to do uh, any soldering or assembly to plug it into a Pi. You know, if, if you have a normal Pi with a header, um, you just plug it right in and uh, with the two by three header, and it uses only I squared C. So you can use this, all the other GPIO for whatever you like. And um, you can even still connect to the I squared C pins the, yeah. if you wanted to. They're still here, you can solder don't, to them. Don't need to like. stack it up or anything? You could stack if you wanted to, but if you want to just use like GPIO or, or connect to uh, <coughs> buttons or LEDs or uh, connect NeoPixels to pin 18 or whatever, okay. um, that's free. And then this demo, just because I, I thought this would be the most useful demo, so we wrote one up. Thanks to James for writing this up. Let me just zoom in. Um, so this version, when you run our script and install it, it will uh, tell you the IP address, uh, the CPU load. So this is going to change a little bit because it was, yeah, it, it, every second or so it updates, but uh, it's not doing anything. The available memory and the percentage used, and then how much disk space is used and how much is available. Yeah. Would this work with a compute module if you really wanted it to? You can. You actually can use it with anything. It's just I squared C. Hmm. So um, you could even you could even use this with a Beagle Bone or like, you know, an Orange Pi or whatever because they all have the I squared C pins in the same location. They use, use the same Linux underlying underlying Linux yeah. I squared C layer. Um, it's all in Python, and we use like Pygame or Py Image Library. So you get access to like every true type font. You can display bitmaps. You can display graphs. You can do animation. Yeah, this is handy. Oh, portable. Very portable. Very small. Very simple. Packer display. Has a little hole that lines up. You can screw it down if you want. Yeah. And um, but like a little OLED display, I thought would be pretty handy. Okay. And uh, we've got great code that works with it. So. Um, all right. Good for just adding a little display. And with that, Lady Ada is new products. Good work. Huzzah!